Hi, Susan Cow Miller, Hampshire EFT, doing a short video, tapping video on being kinder to ourselves. So many of us forget to be kind to ourselves. Frequently, when I was working with my clients, that's what I suggest to them on each occasion. Have you taken time to be kinder to yourself? Are you beginning to be more perceptive about when you're being unkind to yourself, when your self-sabotage voice is, is giving you the message of, for example, that you're a people pleaser. You want to get the job done perfectly. You want to achieve what you think might be right. might be right for you, but it might not be right for someone else. It's only your thoughts. You want to keep safe. You want to ease guilt. You want to feel better. One way or another, all these little messages that we tell ourselves don't do us any favours at all. They're self-taught. They've come from somewhere in our past. Today's little video is being choosing to be kinder to ourselves, for whatever reason. And gradually over time, we'll become more perceptive. We catch ourselves when we go into this self-sabotage in our voice. I'm not running, I need to be perfect because I've got my little prop. I'm going to lay my little prop down and we're going to do a little bit of tapping. Tap on the karate point of your hand. Whichever one you choose, you can chop and change. On my website, I have my beautiful tapping man which shows very specifically where you tap. I'm going to do something dangerous. I'm going to assume you know where the tapping points are. I'm going to assume you know that we feel our discomfort. We give it a number of intensity, 10 is very high. We can give it a shape, size and colour as well. So let's start tapping and deserving to be kinder to ourselves. Because if we're not kinder to ourselves, who on earth will be? And then we can innocently, quietly tap ourselves in the back or clap ourselves in the back because what we radiate from being kinder to ourselves will be felt by others. Please repeat after me. Even though I sometimes forget to be kind to me, I love and accept myself as best I am today. Even though I can forget to be kind to me, and I'm actually very important, I love and accept myself as best I am at this moment. Even though I want to be kinder to me, I want to recognise a need that I can be kinder to me because I deserve it. I love and accept myself as best I possibly can at this moment. Top of the head. Being kinder to me. Being kinder to me. I'm going to take time be kinder to me. It can only do me good. I could sneakily take five minutes. Or I could respect myself. I could respect myself and owe it to me to be kinder to me. I deserve to be kinder to me. The head. I choose to be kinder to me. I choose to feel better about me. I choose to respect me. I deserve to be kinder to myself. And sometimes I forget this. If 
But I'm of great value to many people. Many people who love me. Many people I work with. And if I can feel a little bit better within myself, I know that that radiates out. Choosing to be kinder to me. Choosing to place a higher value on me. Choosing to respect me. I am worthy of myself being kinder to myself. I am very worthy. We've got tapping points at the edge of our finger, the fingernail point, the edge of the fingernail. And these are all very valuable tapping points too, which you can do at a meeting if you're stressed to control negative feelings. You can do it to remain calm. Nobody will know you're doing it. If you think about it unconsciously, sometimes, because it's unconscious, we might not catch it. But we can catch ourselves going, mm, nobody's thinking she's tapping. So, karate point and take Oh, two big deep breaths. Believing that you're giving yourself the opportunity to take time out for you, to be kinder to you, to learn self-love, to quieten the inner voice that said, we must do this, we can't do that. We didn't do this. I'm frightened to do that. When we work with our inner voice, when we release its limiting behaviour, which is self-taught, we've, we've trained it to tell us these things, nobody else has, we can, we can quieten our inner voice and we can be kinder to ourselves. I'm going to read a little adaptation that I've made of a Louise Hay affirmation, which I suggest is a very good idea to to say to yourself as often as you can. Each day is a new opportunity. Yesterday has gone. Today I deserve all that is good. Sometimes, you know, life can really trip us up. We spend far too long deciding to do things for us because we're, we're helping other people and we don't put ourselves first. I've also got a home study programme called Stop Procrastinating, Start Doing. If the title piques your interest, have a look at my website. Find my man with the tapping points. Give yourself the gift of being kinder. To yourself because I maybe said at the beginning if you don't do it nobody else is going to jump and do it in a hurry respect yourself enjoy the rest of your day thanks very much